Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and knock out um, privilege escalation path. All right, so I did my research in this one. I watched some other videos and there's one where this guy uses a script and I was like, mm -mm, no, not using a script here. Um, and it was like really off topic. So I'm going to get you on the right path, <laughs> path, and we're going to get, we're going to learn this together, right? Um, I've already gone through it, so there shouldn't be too much stumbling around here. All right, so what is a path variable? I know they explain it, but let me just go ahead and give you the lowdown. A path variable is an environmental variable in Linux and Unix alike. Operating systems, which specify bin and sbin directories where executable programs are stored. Now, this is key right here. When the user runs any command on the terminal, its requests to the shell to find executable files with the help of the path variable in response to commands executed by a user. So essentially the path variable will help find executable files. Now you can only imagine how that could be a bad thing because what if we were to, in this case, let's look at the path variable here. Look at this path variable. What if the first directory it looked at for these executable files was the temp directory? And in that temp directory, it was looking for them. And instead of finding them, uh, it finds a malicious them executable file that will spawn a shell using bin bash. That's a bad day, because that means we just uh, escalate our privileges and we have a shell and it has root privileges because when it's in the temp directory, as we know, we can modify the privileges, we can make it executable, and it just allows us to um, have all the power inside of that inside of that file. So uh, now that we've gone over that, let's go ahead and start our machine. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna open up my terminal, go like this, I'm gonna SSH into this. Probably just SSH'd into it. So 56.50. Oh, there's a lot of All right, put the password in. Okay, and I'm in. Let me go ahead and bring my screen up so you can see. All right, cool. Uh, we'll do PWD as we always do. We want to see where are we at in the directory. That's a must. Let me go ahead and make my screen a little smaller. All right, and then I like to do ls. All right, so it looks like we're in the root directory. Let's go ahead and move into the uh, home directory, cd home, ls. And you can see right here we have um, this one right here. And so we'll go ahead and move into that. Timur. All right, cd ls. And then we have two files here. So let's cat them.py. Let's see, what is that file doing? And if we look at the code, just, you know, just glance at it, it's using user bin Python 3, so it's running Python 3. Then it's trying to find a them file. Now it doesn't specify the path, so what does that mean? That means that we can tell the path variable that uh, when it runs this, in this case, this Python um, script there, to look for a thin file that's in our temp directory and that thin file will then execute a shell. Now looking at this thin.py file um, or any thin.py file, there's none except for this one, but obviously those wouldn't be spawning a shell, would they? So Let's cat that um, test, Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, a lot, of, a lot of stuff here, right? So this looks like some type of binary or some, some type of compiled file, something that just doesn't look good on the screen, obviously. Uh, let me go ahead and make this a little smaller. All right, cool. So the fact that I can actually read this gives me read permissions, uh, possibly execute this. Who knows? Oh my gosh, how much smaller do I have to make this thing? Okay, there we go. All right, so let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Let me go ahead and close that out. All right, 
Press enter. Okay. So what do we do from here? Let's go ahead and move over to the temp directory because we know that we can modify files in the temp directory. Um, gives us a beach head. That way we can you know, do what we need to do here, go to work. So cd dot dot, cd dot dot. And then I'm gonna go to temp, so cd temp ls. All right, so we don't have anything great in here, but what we can do is we can make a thin file because we know it's looking for one, so why not create one? So go nano, thin. Okay, and then before I move on here, um, let me just make sure I'm going down the right right here. Yeah, all right, cool. Actually, we won't even nano into it. We'll modify it with some of the commands that they provide us. Um, those are somewhat helpful. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. So I'm just gonna put this command in. Jamad plus X, so we're making it executable. Oh, actually, you don't need to run that one, sorry. It's gonna be this one, echo. Thin bash, so we're gonna make a shell. And then we're making a file called thin and replacing it here in the temporary directory, like I mentioned earlier. Okay, and then we're going to set the privileges for that file. And we're obviously going to give that all the privileges that it needs to get the job done. And then we're going to go ahead and see those privileges. So I'm going to put in this command. And, oh no. I wonder if this still runs. Yeah, it does. All right, so we got everything we need there. All right, and then what are we going to do next? We're going to set the the path variable, as we've learned, that we can change the path variable so we can look in the temp directory first and run our malicious um, them. So let's paste that in there. Echo path. So we're checking the path variable. Obviously, you know, that's the way it looks. Now we've got to set it. So we're going to Type in the following, go and paste it in. Export path equals forward slash temp, and then that cache path. So we're just basically setting this inside of the path environment variable. So, sure. And then now, if we were to run echo path again, you would see it would look for thin in the temp file or look for executable files starting in the temp folder. And that's bad, right? Because, I mean, you could you can make executables in temp folder. Temp folder's not very secure. See, so it's got forward slash temp in there. That's the first place it's gonna look. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and CD over, or let's CD back. And then let's cd over to um, home. ls cd over to uh, this folder here. ls and then, um, as we know, we can run test. So let's run it. And see what happens. Hopefully this works. This... Ah, hey, we're in. All right, cool. So. Now you can see um, I've run tests because we're able to run that. Path variable said, hey, look in the uh, in the temp folder first for executable files. It said, OK. And then it looked in the temp folder and it said, hey, run this shell. <laughs> and Thim said, run this shell. And then it ran the shell. And now, hey, we got we got shell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's go ahead and ls. CD LS. All right, so we're going to look in Matt. We're going to CD to Matt LS. And then we got a flag there, so we're going to cat that flag. 
So for cat, we're just we're just trying to look at the flag, right? I feel like if you've gotten this far, you should know that. So, and there's your flag. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this flag, and then you know just come over here, and then you're gonna put it right there. Click complete here. I almost forgot to do that. And of course, the folder that had right access was um that one. All right. And that's about that. Now, as for like, how did we know that one had right access? Um, well, if you ran this command here, which um, I should have run. I actually forgot to run this one. I'm going to have to put this in my notes as well. This is gold right here. Um, I'll put this in my notes. Um, all right. You run that. Yeah, my in here, paste it in. So it's saying fine, writable files, send the errors to the dev null so we don't have to see them because there's going to be a lot of errors. And let me just go up to the top here. Okay. So it's looking for the writable files, and then it lists them out here, all nice, using all these commands here. And when we scroll down, you know, if we're looking for that interesting file, we're going to be looking in users directories. So in this case, um, go to. It should be users. Yeah, it should be users. Or wait, home. Yeah, there's so home there. So that is a writable location. If you scroll down. So that's that. Um, I'll put the commands in a comment below. I can't put in the description, as I mentioned before. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It motivates me to create more. And I hope you have a good day. All right. Danny out.